Good morning, Damascus. Hi. Uh, we just wanted to give a happy Monday morning to our Damascus family, um, students, teachers, and extended families. Um, we miss all of you and hope to get back to doing what we do very soon. I wanted to just talk to you a little bit today about some of the hats that I wear at Damascus. The first one, of course, as um, the school counselor uh, and a SAP um, coordinator within our building is that we would like you to know that if you still need help um, with any community resources, um, have questions about things going on within the community at this time, appointments for students, etc., anything to do with community resources. If you have questions about what's available right now and what's going on within the community, um, certainly you can always shoot me an email at a grease, G R I E S, at whsd.com, and I will try my hardest to answer any questions that you might have. Also, another hat that I wear uh, as a, a Damascus um, student council co-advisor with Mrs. Gillette, um, just a shout out about box tops quickly. Um, as you're making those essential appoint or trips to the grocery store um, once a week, uh, if you save those receipts and you have the box top app downloaded, um, you can scan those receipts and continue to earn box top monies for the Damascus school. That's just another way that you can continue to help support um, the school um, during this time. Also, um, you know, again, we appreciate everything that you're doing um, and the roles that you've been thrust into as teachers, um, recess monitors, lunch monitors. Um, you know, I know I'm a teacher myself and it's been different for sure. Um, so, you know, also oftentimes in my job, one of the perks is that, you know, I get to hear a lot of happy news from students. Students drop in all the time and want to tell me happy things they have going on. So I would encourage you to if your student chooses to or your family to shoot me an email and let me know what things you've been up to I would be thrilled to hear from you and to know you know again what kind of things you have going on I know here we've been doing a bunch of different things including building a chicken coop doing puzzles and spending time with each other going for walks things like that and also you know um one of the other things that I wanted to point out, especially as my other hat as a counselor teaching guidance classes, K through eight, especially at the middle school level, one of the things that we talk about is, um, you know, um, skilled trade positions and laborers, things like that. So just a talking point at home as we look around um, in our communities right now, essential employees are so important. And, um, you know, we talk about skilled trades, we talk about the... Um, programs of study at Honesdale High School. And within those programs, we talk about how those skill trades are so important. So better time than any, there's no better classroom example I could give. Talk to your children about, you know, the people that are out there working right now on the front lines, you know, everything from healthcare to grocery store clerks. Um, they're great conversations to have and just a real life example of how those um, professions need to be upheld, appreciated, respected, and that there's a need for them. Um, Thank you, and you know, I really, really hope that we get to see all of you again very soon. I miss you all, and to quote Mrs. Killam, air hugs to go. Have a great day, friends.